Hi guys, I am jumping on today because I want to share with you all this Muji notebook that I finally decided to purchase. What took me so long to finally break down and purchase a Muji notebook is beyond me, but it is a purchase that was well worth the wait, but a wait that took far too long. This notebook, in my opinion, is amazing. Starting with the cover. When I first got this book in the mail, I, I want to say I had it for about two weeks now. When I got the book in the mail, first of all, the thickness was much thicker than I expected it to be. I expected it to be half this size in thickness. The feel of the cover, it's like a, a wax, silk, waxy, silky feel. So the notebook, it feels amazing. This is the Muji, the one that's called the Pocket Note. So it's it's definitely not an A5 size notebook. It's not an A4. A4 is much smaller, and it's not um, a B6. I have two of them out to compare. Compare. So this would be the B6 and it is it's bigger than a b6 size notebook and it is it's smaller than an a5 so finding a cover for it something that will fit it has been a little bit of a challenge for me because i have this note book here I've showed this in a previous video and I was hoping that it would at least fit inside of this cover but the width looked like it would have made it but not the length it's just a little bit too long so it's kind of hard to find a cover for it eventually I made do a parchment paper um, cover on it but just being able to touch the cover it's it's so soothing to me i love the way the cover feel now the cover itself is extremely thin and without any effort at all the book slipped back out of my hand and i'm not sure if you can see this light indentation which is kind of slightly annoying me a little but it's very easy to bend this the cover on it it's like a um a craft paper cover but it feels it, it feels so much better than craft paper it's so smooth to the touch the um actual writing paper is awesome i jumped into this book and i don't even know how to jump out of it because i began writing i'm still in the process of writing here and this book is it's going to be a joy for me to use now if you look in the binding you can see that this is not a sewn binding nor does it have signatures it is a glue binding so which means that it does not lay flat when it opens this is laying much flatter than it did when i received the book because i decided to crack my spine um a little and I would not advise anyone to do that if it's not anything you want to do. It feels like the glue is pretty strong, but you can see I did a deep crack right here. But it does not seem to be a threat to the pages. So that's why it's laying open. Because if you want it to lay open, you will definitely have to crack the spine. But it's not... um. It's, it's not a pain to actually write in the, the book in the manner in which it is. It currently is. So another thing, because this is um, plain paper, I started to order, at first I was going to order a A4 size writing board, but I knew that was going to take a lot of rotating back and forth. So I thought about ordering the A5 size and with an A5 it would have had a lot of overhang so what I decided to do was one second 
So before I decide to show you what I did for my writing board solution, I'm going to show you how much I love this book. I love it so much that I decided to jump on Amazon and I purchased four more of them. The pricing of them is really, really good on Amazon, so I purchased four more. But what I did for my writing board solution was I took a page out of this composition book here and cut it along the margin and once I cut it out along the margin I cut the um the remaining margin that was on the other side off and I cut it down to size so this serves as the perfect writing writing template writing board however you want to say it and you can see that the lines show perfectly through no problem at all and it does not um, provide any bulkiness to the book it it's not um it has no overhang because of me having to order the wrong size and it saved me between eight to twelve dollars and purchasing a, a writing board that would have been a little unnecessary but um so in combination with my muji pen here which i have always been a fan of the uh, muji pens a long time fan of the muji pens this <laughs> it's it's like for a writer, this would be your dream team. Like someone who just loves to write, it, it would be your dream. I'm telling you, it will be your dream team to actually use these two together. I have ordered, and that's what I normally do. I keep my my barrels. These barrels are pretty much. Um, this may be one of my newer ones because this one not faded. But what I do is I keep my barrels and I order the um the refills for these. I just and it simply comes out just that easy so I ordered me um, a pack of six refills and that should be here sometime this week and I will have my little team Muji and also with one of these I order so many because I want to take one of them and this kids meal bag I'm gonna have to go get um, another one of these kids meals this bag is so pretty I love it this is the front this is the bag so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take in one of these books out I, I want to cover it cut this bag out into a book cover for front and back and make my grandbaby her first sketchbook. I'll, I'll design one of these as a sketchbook for her. So if I turn it into a sketchbook for her, what I'm gonna have to do is not only cover it with the, um, the bag, but I'm going to have to do something to reinforce this cover by being so thin. I will reinforce the cover and then also put like a pretty um, cover paper on the inside on both front and back so that she can have her first sketchbook and her first sketchbook will be of nice quality paper but I just wanted to share this with you guys because I I think that these are some amazing notebooks and all and they do have um a little wine colored bookmark in them to say that they're not sewn binding because I, I just love my notebooks to have, like, to, to check every box. I love the sewn binding. I love the paper. I, it has to have nice paper quality. And this one, I just took a chance and got a glue binded notebook. And it seems like the glue on it is honestly pretty strong because I did some serious cracking to this spine. And none of the pages seem to be threatened by the way I cracked this spine. I, I even thought of taking my heating tool while I was doing it to see if it would open a little more to heat the glue 
open it up and um and see just how much more it will loosen up but I just decided not to take the chance if I do I'll jump back on and let you guys know how that turned out but right now I'm very pleased with it very pleased with the paper the paper is like rubbing your hand across butter and just writing with the Muji pen if you are familiar with Muji pens you know what I'm what I mean if you're not familiar with Muji pens you might want to get familiar with Muji pens but together this is the and it's it's not only it's just a minimalist dream like there's not much to the build of it it is it's so minimalistic but it is it's everything and my designing and everything will come later I, I love doing pictures and tip-ins and all kind of stuff but the maturity in me likes to get a lot of my um my writing down more than I did with um my creative journaling back then so but I'm pretty sure some of that will come because I do have a, a tip in here that I, I have a quote in mind that I want to write on here and tape it either here or maybe here and it'll have a quote here and maybe a quote on this side so I do have something in mind to put on there but I just wanted to share this with you guys and I hope you enjoyed this this little random video and until next time thank you so much for watching